saying you cannot film. Okay, but you're not listening to what I'm telling you. Your rules and regulations are contrary to your statements. And I'm going to go by your rules and regulations, not your subjective statements. How's it going guys? Amagansett Press. We are coming to you today from Boulder, Colorado, and we are at the Valmont station of the US Postal, uh, Post Office, Postal Service. Um, I am out with watching the Watchmen today. And we're just gonna pay a little visit on these folks here today in Boulder and find out if they honor and respect our right to take video and photographs in public and from publicly accessible areas, public places. Uh, let me give you a little view of the sign here. And uh, also just want to let you know, Boulder uh, has its own county um, mask order where you are supposed to be wearing a mask even outdoors in the fresh air um, if you are unable to maintain six feet of distance from anybody that you don't live with. Um, so if we get approached by anybody, anybody gets too close today, we're going to uh, ask them to honor that. So uh, just giving you the heads up on that. And uh, because I don't want somebody walking up getting six feet away, from, less than six feet away from me and then blaming me for violating the law is the point. So I just want to let you know. Let me give you a little view of the neighborhood here. And I uh, always like to take a moment to recognize Old Glory, waving in the breeze as she should. They could probably have found a better place for that flagpole so it's not hitting the roof, but um, standing tall nevertheless. So here's a view of the neighborhood. And while I'm doing that, time and temperature check. Today is Thursday, January 14th. It is 2.38 in the afternoon and 40 degrees and sunny in beautiful Boulder, Colorado. It is. All right, so let's see what kind of signs we have here. It's very windy. Somebody. Oh, look at that. All right, this is interesting. So it says mass or face coverings and underneath that it says recommended inside our lobby. So somebody crossed out the part that says recommended. It's on all the signs too, if you look in there. Yeah. Well, no, actually, here's one. Check it out. One that you can actually read that's not covered up here. It says mass or face coverings are recommended inside our lobby. So, uh, yeah, let's see what other signs we have here. Uh, obviously, I'm on federal property, so we are not expressing our 2A today. Can't do that here, not yet. Right, so let's uh, go take a quick spin through and see what's going on. First time in Boulder at the post office. You have your uh, usual post office box area here. Okay, and we have our uh, poster seven right here. And this is a 2003 copy. So this copy is 18 years old. Uh, I believe the latest version of this is 2018. But uh, I do also believe that the uh, wording is the same. Let's have a self-service kiosk here. some uh, express or priority shipping supplies. Hi, 
Are you po are you a postal worker? Am I a postal worker? No, not at all. No. You're not really allowed to film in here, though. Allowed to film in here? Sure you are. No, you're not. It's posted right on your wall. It does say that? Yep. Poster 7, Rules and Regulations of Where? Conduct on the I'll show it to you. I'd be happy right. to show it to you. Is it? Yeah. Hey, you have another copy right here. Happy to show it to you. So, this is a very old copy. The most recent one is 2018. I know you're not allowed to film the workers in there, though. Photographs for news, advertising and commercial purposes. Photographs for news purposes may be taken in entrances, lobbies, foyers, corridors. It's all right there. Why are you filming anyway? Oh, we're just checking out your post. First time I've ever been at the uh, Boulder right. Post Office here. Okay. But thank you. I appreciate your uh, assistance. Thank you. How are we doing today, sir? Hey, how are you? Mind if I ask you a quick question since I just ran into you? Uh, um, I actually need to. Well, I have a, a question about county sure. law. And What's since that? you're the sheriff, I figured you'd, you'd be the best guy uh, to I'm ask. I'm not the sheriff, I'm a deputy. Well, a deputy sheriff. <laughs> uh, but is, I understand that in Boulder, we're not from here, I'm from southern Colorado. Okay. So I understand that in Boulder, there's a mask law outdoors. If you're unable to distance yourself six feet from people, is that accurate? In the city? Is it the county or the city? I'm not sure. I'm not I, clear on. I don't on... know. I don't know. So you're not aware of any regulation well, I like work that? I for the county, not the city. So I don't know what city ordinances. Um, so county has no ordinance like that? The county. So exactly what is it that you're you're looking for as far as. I just want, like, if I'm walking down the street outside, I just want to know if I need to have a mask on if I'm six feet away from people or, like, how it's written. I don't know how the law is written. Somebody just mentioned to me a few minutes ago that they said, oh, there's a mask law in Boulder County and you're supposed to wear one. I said, even outside? And they said, yeah, even outside. Um, and then I just happened to see you pull up and I said, oh, there's a deputy sheriff. And right. Ask him. So as far as the city's concerned, I can't tell you. You need to check with the city. Okay. I recommend going on the, um, this, the website, the city's website. Okay. Um, and you're not sure about the be, county either? As far as the county is concerned, um, well, as far as unincorporated Boulder County, there's, so there is an ordinance, okay. or not an ordinance, there is a... Uh, like a mayor's the, executive the state, order? Yeah, the state, the state... Oh, so you're just under the state governor's state mandate? Right. Okay, right. I got you. And pretty much everybody's following that, but some of this... Which this doesn't address is, outdoor public areas, I don't think, right? Uh, I'm not sure. Okay. Uh, but again, as far as the municipalities are concerned, um, they have their own ordinances. Of course, yeah. Course, uh, it's hard to keep track when you travel around, you know? Well, <laughs> but, but you county, have to. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, really, it's really difficult. So it's, you know, pretty much everywhere we go, it's a matter of, okay, what exactly is it for the city of Boulder or the, you know, town of, you know, Lyons or, or what have Gotcha, you. right? Yeah, everybody's got their different. Yep. Well, I appreciate you taking the time. And maybe that's a good thing this came up. Maybe we should both do our homework and figure it out, I guess. Yep, exactly. Can I just ask what your name is so I know who I spoke to? Harrison. Harrison. Thank you, Mr. Harrison. Uh, Officer Harrison. Uh, Deputy Harrison. I'm sorry. Hi. Stay safe out there and have a good day. Appreciate you. Is there any reason you're not wearing a mask? Is there a reason I'm not wearing? Of course there is. Can you? Is there any reason you are? Yes. Okay. So obviously I do everything with a purpose. Okay. For sure. Yeah. But I don't discuss that with people I don't know. Fair enough. Yeah. So you're just gathering information but not sharing information. How, how do you know I'm gathering information? Um, you're asking questions. Of a law enforcement officer? Sure, yeah. I, didn't, I didn't ask you any questions. That's true. You're not obligated to answer my questions. You're not obligated to answer mine. Right. That's right. Well, you have a good day. You too. Appreciate you. Yeah. There is a pandemic going on. Well, I'm fully aware of what's going on, okay. but there's also uh, medical exemptions written into the governor's order. Well, they, so yeah. I might, might be that. Yeah. Right? Yes. There's just, there's, there's, there are legitimate reasons why somebody might not be wearing a mask. Sure. If you have a camera, you're probably at an angle. Probably got what? Probably have an angle. An angle on? You're filming. Right. And gathering information. So you're probably going to use this for something. It's not, you're just pers not personally out here to ask questions. Well, that's, that's assume, that's, that's an assumption. Assumption. Yeah, yeah, yeah. right. Well, have a good day. No, and you know what? I got to tell you, I thank you for being cordial and having a free conversation here. I Listen, appreciate that. I, I, the only thing that bothers me is that people are not talking about things. Okay. They're not able to communicate. Immediately jump to yelling and assaulting, which I'm, I 
that's why immediately it was like, nope, that's an assumption I should not assume. So no, well, I'm, thank you so much. I appreciate you uh, being that way, and that's the way it should be. You got to Thank you. Yep, you. absolutely. Yep. Have a good one. Thank you. You too. All right, so let's just take a quick walk through here. Hallmark cards. Don't forget about Valentine's Day. Very cool. It's a nice post office. Well, that's a, you know, that's an interesting thing because you could look at that. Um, it's interesting how the deputy had no issue with us being inside the post office uh, with or without a face covering, taking video, whatever the case may be. And uh, these things don't seem to become an issue until somebody makes an issue out of it and says that they got their feelings hurt or they're uh, intimidated or feel like they're being harassed or something. I don't know. So just uh, just something to note, noteworthy, as they say. We could actually stand in here. It's cold out here. <laughs> they're like take a side yeah Ooh. wow it's getting chilly out there like for mid-january i'm still well that's true yeah you're right can't complain that is, that is a good point it is mid-january Are they? Yeah. Trying to figure it out? Yeah. Oh, well, let's see if they need any uh, clarification. Hello. Hello. I just want to see if you guys have any questions for me. So, you are taking pictures? Where does that say that again? Uh, it's under photographs. Where is that? Uh, let's see, right there. It's the one, two, third paragraph down on the right hand side. All right. There it is. Photograph news, taking entrance. For news purposes, are you a news organization? Well, there's a couple of different things, but I am. Uh, no court. I definitely, what I'm doing falls under that All right. paragraph, for sure. I mean, I, we've always been told, I, I'm not do, on the window right now, but we've always been told you can't film in here. You You've know? never had a sign on the window. That and you're not you wearing film. masks. You're supposed to wear masks in here. Though, it says it's recommended on the door. All right. I just, I just follow the law. I got you. you know, I just I'm, not, I'm not an yeah. authority figure. Oh, no, you've been very professional yeah, and courteous. Yeah. I appreciate you. I'm not, Thank you know, you. I'm just... No, and you know what? I appreciate you, know, you I, looking into if it. If I asking. see people that I don't know doing stuff, I would, I'm told to, I'm, I'm told to ask, you know? Of course. Yeah. No, I, I appreciate yeah. you doing that for sure. Yeah. yeah no issues. So, uh, no problems with me. I just thought in case you had any questions, I'd come in because I've, I'm very uh, familiar with the rules and regulations. Uh, I know what they are and I've, I'm... So are we, are, what's the purpose? Are you doing anything, making a documentary? Or you know what, when I'm done, yeah, we're just making a little documentary about the post office, and when I'm done, I'll be happy to turn the cameras off and explain the whole nine yards to you All if right. you're still interested. No problem. Alrighty. All right, I'm... And if you saw, there was even a, there, you know, I, you know, there was even just a sheriff's deputy here, and we were having a conversation I, with him. I, I no, we're not violating I, any I rules or anything. All right. But I, I do appreciate you keeping an eye out for your employees. Okay. All right, thank no you. Problem. No, they'll, they'll figure it out. I'd rather stand outside, but it's cold and windy. Yeah. Let's check and see what that was. Yeah. I need you guys to stop, please, because our customer's coming in and out to not want to be on camera. And inside the Postal Service, you have to have permission to film on our property? No, that's not true. Not in the public areas, ma'am. It's, it's right on your... You do need to have a mask on. Well, let's address one thing at a time. Which one first? Either way. You need All right, a mask well, on. Here's your sign. Masks or face coverings are recommended inside the lobby. 
Okay, and I'm, I'm saying you need to have it. Boulder County has a mandate. If, if this is federal property and it's recommended, that's your policy. Sir? I'm not trying to give you a hard time. I'm just following your and rules and regulations. Please leave my premise. Well, I'm not going to. Why? Do you have a reason? Because you're not wearing a face mask and I have. Face masks are recommended. I have customers coming in and out that are uncomfortable with that. Well, that's. I'm, I can't. I'm not responsible for other people's comfort levels. Sir, I'm just working on a little story, and when I'm done in a few minutes, I'll be on my way. You can work on it outside. It's cold outside. You have a coat on, sir. Yeah. Well, but I'm within my rights to be here, honestly. honestly. Did you did you ever read the rules and regulations of the post office that's posted right on your wall? Sir? No, I'm asking you a question. Yes, I'm well aware of what it is. So you're well aware that I'm allowed to be here filming? No, you're not. I am. Are you the postmaster? No, sir, I'm not. Okay, is the postmaster available? No, he's not. He's at the main office if you'd like to go see him. Okay, well, maybe we'll stop by there next. I, I can assure you that I'm totally within my rights. I don't violate the law and I don't violate federal rules and regulations. So I can assure you that I'm within my rights. I know what I'm doing. Sir, I am saying you need to wear a mask while you're in here, which you are not, and I'm saying you cannot film. Okay, but you're not listening to what I'm telling you. Your rules and regulations are contrary to your statements, and I'm going to go by your rules and regulations and not your subjective statements. I'm not going to be here all day. I'm going to be here for a few minutes, and then I'm going to leave. And I'm going to stand here until you do. Okay. And That's fine. when my customers want to come in, you they can come in. six feet away from them. They're your customers are more than welcome to come in. And they don't have to be filmed by you. No, they don't have to be filmed. So then you need to move seven We're in. This is a seven public seven setting, ma'am. In public, there is no expectation of privacy. I'm allowed to film. Property. Did, you told me you read your rules and regulations. Did you not comprehend them when you read them? Did you just breeze through, or did you actually comprehend what you read? Why didn't you start with that question? And there is, of course, I do everything with a specific reason. I don't just walk around aimlessly. Well, it sure seems like it. Well, that's your subjective opinion again. You're right. Right. And I'm not trying to give you a hard time. I wish we could have a nice cordial conversation, but you're just barking orders and expecting me to jump like Pavlov's dog, and that's not the way it works. You need to have a face mask on, and I'm saying you're not supposed to be going on, on federal property in the post office. That's a DHS put out a memo in 2018 giving me a, a, a explicit authority to be doing what I'm doing right now. And who is DHS? Department of Homeland Security. Okay, can I please see that? You can go pull it up on your computer screen, absolutely. Sure. It gives you specific authority, and what's your name? Gives anyone, the, the, you, I'll educate you if you want me to tell you. Look it up, it's the DHS. for your name, sir, can you give me that? You're, you're, I do have ADHD, you're jumping from one question to another. I'd rather just answer the question you asked me and then I'll take your next question. Okay. I can't answer two questions at once. So, so if, what's your name? What's your name? My name is Why are you getting so Why are you approaching him so close? You're the one violating the mask law. Six feet. Why are you so close to me? Ma'am, could you back up and give him a little space? Why? Because you're being aggressive and you're acting. You should be very. Listen, listen, you don't know if I'm here. Listen, you don't. Ma'am, ma'am, you don't know if I'm here from the post office, so I would behave yourself if I was you. You have no idea what I'm doing. Don't try, to, don't try to intimidate anybody. I would love to have a very nice cordial conversation with you if we can do that. Not. You've already shown that. All right, so then please go away. I won't. This is where I work. Okay. You work right here in this little mudroom entrance? I'm right. I work all over in this area. Okay. Well, maybe you should get back to work. I am. Okay. That's fine. I am adhering to your rules and regulations. I'm That's all I'm going to say to you. You don't have to give a name. And you don't even want to. Why would I have to give you my name? Because I asked you for it. Why would you not want to? Well, so you could ask me how long you can ask me how long my penis is. Am I supposed to tell you that? Sir, I'm really sorry. They're having a problem here. If you want to come in. There's no problem, man. Go ahead, knock yourself out. Do you do your thing. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. Okay. So you are You want me to here, I'll turn the camera that way so you're not on it. Go ahead. Here, go ahead. Thank you, sir. Yep. Knock yourself out. There you go. Is there a reason, if you're telling me that masks are required inside the building, why does it say recommended on your sign? Because at the time it was posted, it wasn't a mandate. So shouldn't you change the signs? Guess we made a mistake there. That doesn't separate the mandate. Well, why don't we correct the mistake? He would like to come back out. There are other entrances, but I'll be, I'll be a mensch and move for you. There you go. 
Have a good day. Stay healthy. Well, it's a shame you can't have a cordial conversation because I can do that too. You came out very aggressive barking orders and that's, you know, you give what you get in this world. You get what you give. If you would have come out cordial, I had a very pleasant conversation with John, I believe his name was. That's not his name. Well, whatever his name was. Mm -hmm. Yeah, had a very cordial conversation because he approached me professionally and cordially and I returned the same right back at him. Go, go call the police, they'll educate you. Wow. Worried about masks and six feet and making people uncomfortable and then just back yeah. into a corner, that's great. And I'm gonna need your name for the complaint that I'm gonna file against you for approaching him in an intimidating manner and getting 18 inches away from him. Right, which is against the law in Boulder. To have a face-to-face -face conversation? Sure, you're supposed to maintain six, maintain six feet of distance. You were being very intimate. I'd like your name you're so I can... I'm asking your name so I can file a complaint, ma'am. Do you want to Mary refuse Szymanski. to give it to me? Mary Szymanski? Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Keep an eye out for the complaint. It'll be coming. But you guys still haven't given me your name, so what do you have to file? I'm not a public employee, ma'am. I don't have any reason. I value my Fourth Amendment right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't work for the public. I didn't sign that contract. You did. So have you called the police yet, Mary? No, I haven't. Oh, okay. If you did, I'd be happy to speak to them. Sure. We have a couple of gentlemen in here filming that we are non-authorizing. So if you want to... Well, Mary's a little fire starter, huh? So go ahead, so I can... Are you trying to incite some kind of a problem here, Mary? No, I'm explaining why there are people here that... No, you're trying to cause a problem, Mary. Come on, be straight uh, with me. Sir, are you okay with us? They're just filming. Nobody cares, Mary, until you start looking for a problem. I also had a very nice cordial conversation with one of your customers a few minutes ago. Here we go, look, fire starter. Yeah, you might want to uh, educate Mary a little bit on what the rules of the post office are before she violates somebody. Whenever watching The Watchmen and I realize or believe that somebody called the police on us, we do not run away. We stay and uh, address the situation. I'm not going to have the police out looking for me. You want to grab the door for that young lady? Thank you. Yeah, I got that for you. <laughs> no problem. Appreciate it. Yep. And you, you, you want to know what's amazing? Mary went away and she took the problem with her. Yeah. It's incredible. Was he making a phone call? Uh, he's just staring at us. It's amazing how nobody says anything. I mean, even that guy that was just staring at us, he really didn't say much. Yeah. He didn't, he's just like, hey. <laughs> if Mary was out here, there'd be four people out here right now up in arms, raging. Yeah, Mary would have robbed that guy over to a friend. For sure. Absolutely. That's what she was hoping to do. If you guys are into music, look up a uh, song by a group called Prodigy. Prodigy, and the name of the song is Firestarter. It's like from the 90s, I think. Check it out. Here comes your buddy again. Be prepared. What are y'all doing? Oh my God. <laughs> 
I'm going to tell you, first of all, if you're coming in here to legitimately ask me a question and be cordial, I'd be happy to have the conversation with you. If you're coming in here looking for trouble, you pick the wrong guy and I'd go back to your car. No, not at all, man. I'm just interested. I, it seems like it's making a lot of people uncomfortable. So well, like life, life these days makes a lot of people uncomfortable. Oh, yeah, you're right about that. But no, I appreciate you. If you just want to have a cordial conversation, man, I'm all up for yeah, that. Yeah, no, I'm, okay. I'm genuinely interested. I could tell. Yeah. Yeah. So um, we're, just, we're just taking some video of the post office. I'm just, uh, we're just, I'm making a documentary about what's going on in the world today. Okay. That's all. Totally uh, objective, nonpartisan documentary. Okay. I don't take sides. Sure, absolutely. So we're just basically be observing, not speaking to anybody and... Yeah. Yeah, no, that's it. That. Yep, that's all so we're doing. You're just looking for footage of like people coming in and out? Well, no, what we did, I just, I, we went through, we spoke to some of the employees, we had a nice conversation with a customer and a deputy sheriff and sure. that kind of thing. But then now this is just some B-roll footage in case we need to fill some time or something. Sure, absolutely. Yeah. All That's right. all it is. Well, interesting. Yeah, no, no, hey. Nothing nefarious and no ill will. Well, nothing to worry about. Yeah. Hey, all right, guys, buddy. No, I appreciate you. Thank you. I'm sorry? You We're just working on a little story about the post office. Ah, cool. Yeah. It's just documenting what's going on. I was just telling this young man that was in here, we're basically just doing a very objective documenting what's going on in the world these days. Cool. Yeah. Like, just making, just make, literally just making a record yeah. of what's going on. Well, at the post office is just, it's a it's federal property, uh -huh. first and foremost. And then secondly, uh, just, you know, it's regular citizens just going about their day, coming in and out. And, yeah. But we're not doing, you know, if somebody approaches me and asks me what I'm doing, I'm cordial, so I'll tell you what I'm doing, yeah. but we're not doing interviews or anything like that. We're just, yeah. where, just observing. What, what are the other spots that are interesting? Oh, we go all over the place. I go to FBI buildings, jails, um, police departments, tax collectors offices, yeah. city government buildings, health departments. Yeah. Yeah, just all anywhere that's publicly accessible areas. Right. Yeah. And just film and kind of. Yeah, just because somebody needs to document all this, what's going on. So we're just, you know, just another, another set of eyes on the, on the world. Yeah, that's it. But I appreciate your cordial conversation. Thank you. So yeah, I mean, I probably, if Mary didn't come out and start that whole uh, situation, I probably would have left already because we had a conversation with the deputy sheriff. We had a conversation with two of the employees. I felt like we uh, felt some, found some common ground there and uh, thought we would just stick around for a couple of minutes, but now I have a feeling that Mary may have called law enforcement on us. And like I said, uh, law enforcement has been called. I don't like to run away. I, that forces me to stay here. So basically she wanted us to leave and what she did was create a situation where now I can't leave. Uh, but we're not gonna stay around all day, obviously. I'll stick around for a few minutes. And as I always like to say, guys, it ain't over till the fat lady sings, as they say, so. Stick around. Strange things tend to happen in the last few minutes on the way out the door. And I'm just, you know, I don't want to jinx myself here because there's, uh, you know, there's always somebody. But uh, I just want to point out, and I want you to take notice that numerous people are going in and out and uh, not yelling at us or getting upset about us being here. Um, you know, a couple of people asked us what we were doing. That's fine. Okay, now I'm so curious. Are you with a group? No, no, I'm with my son. Do you just do it on your own? Yeah, we travel the country on our own dime. Wow. Yeah, we've been to 28 different states in the past year and a half. Oh my gosh. And we're shooting for all 50, but uh, Hawaii and uh, Alaska are going to be a bear at this point, but yeah. we'll, we'll try. And do you upload it to a uh, YouTube channel? Or it depends, sometimes. I mean, if something exciting happens, a lot of what we film is just very humdrum yeah. kind of stuff. But we do share our videos with people if anybody's interested in yeah. watching them, sure. Is it for... Just documenting what's going on. You know what I was just saying to my son in the car this morning, it's funny because a hundred years ago, yeah. there's not very good documentation of what was going on, yeah. you know, feet on the ground, right. talking to people, right. that kind of thing yeah. from a hundred years ago, like back in 1900. Uh -huh. But a hundred years from now, there will be because people are out taking video and recording what's going on. Yeah. So it's just something for posterity. Why always government sites though? Because it's publicly accessible property. I can't go to private property. But like on a, like, do you ever go to malls or like? Oh yeah, well, like malls are private property. Oh, I tend well, to stay. So they have to leave. Well, yeah, private property 
Technically, they can't unless there's a reason because there are civil rights protections and that kind of thing. But most police officers on private property, if somebody calls the police and asks to have you removed from private property, the police are going to have you removed. Uh -huh. And you can fight that another day in court. Yeah. Uh, but public property is public property, so we're just not looking to cause any problems and stay on public property where we're allowed to be. Right. And we do our research and our homework, and we know what the rules and the regulations are, and we make very sure we don't cross that yeah. line. Yeah. Yeah. That's so interesting. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Well, no, thank you. I appreciate you asking. I appreciate you being cordial. Thank you. Yeah, I think I think it's like unnerving these days when people are like a video. You know what? Well, that's another thing too. Yeah. I hope that maybe I've unnerved you a little bit. Maybe well, every guy standing out there with a the camera is not up to no good. Correct. And I I'm in favor of videoing everything. I mean, when I see like an officer stopped with somebody, especially if it's a person of color, I'm like always like, hmm, I might stop. Well, we film them too. We also do cop watching. We film the we film yeah. the police. Make sure they're not violating anybody's rights. Yeah, I, yeah. I think it's it's true. I mean, See, but I just want you to remember. And I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off, but I just want you to remember this because people walk around with a lot of preconceived notions, myself included. Uh -huh. So you might judge somebody thinking that they're doing something and disagree with it and get upset with them right. when maybe it's not. Maybe it's something you would have agreed with if you would have given the opportunity to have the conversation. Totally. So I appreciate you for that. Yeah. I mean, that's always my posture. But yeah. I just think you know, video has changed a lot of what people understand of. Oh, know, for sure. Especially around, you know. For sure. Racial justice issues, I mean, obviously I care about that a lot. And it's, I, I think, especially white people, we would not really understand the layers and complexities of. I'm just going to come over here. Power so. and, you know, police and even just, you know. Well, I think the major problem with the police, with law enforcement, I shouldn't say just the police because you have sheriffs and the sure. FBI, but I think the major problem with law enforcement in this country is that, that they police themselves. Correct. Right. Yeah, which so there Fuller, needs to be oversight. Yeah, Fuller just enacted that about six Okay, good. Ago. Well, they should, there should definitely be yeah. independent oversight, yeah, for sure. Yeah, that's exactly what Fuller just implemented. It was huge because a lot of police forces will fight that, you know, because they don't... Well, yeah, because fight. now... You know, looking over your shoulder. Right. Well, and now the way it is is you file a complaint, they look at it, and say, no, we did nothing right. wrong, and throw in the garbage. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So, so that's not, you know, and uh, just to flip side of the corner, play devil's advocate, there are some wonderful law enforcement yeah. officers out there yeah. who do a fantastic job, yeah. honor their oath, and yeah. support people's civil rights. Yeah, they have an yeah. incredibly hard job. Yeah. They do. But then, you know, like anything else, there's bad photographers out there. Right. There's bad, right. and there's good and bad and everything. Right. 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 So the more of us that represent the good, I feel like that's basically all we can do. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because none of us individually are going to change the world. Right. But if, you know, I think this conversation is fruitful. Totally. And you and I will walk away from this maybe with a little better understanding of each other and maybe a little, mm -hmm. make us a little more aware and a little more conscious. And there's, that's all, yeah. that's the point. Right. And we try to have these conversations with law enforcement as well because we want them to honor their oath yeah. and do what's right. And we want to, you know, sometimes you get comfortable in what you're doing every day and you stop right. thinking. Right. So we want to inspire thinking. Yeah. Yeah. That's all it is. Good. We're trying to do a good thing. Good. And it gets mistaken a lot. I've had bottles thrown at me and I've been, uh -huh. you know, people, but that's because people don't ask the questions yeah. like you do. Yeah. So I'm glad you did. Great. Yeah, and it was a pleasure speaking with you. My name's Jason, you. by the way. I'm Amy. Nice to meet you, Amy. Nice to meet you. Bennett? Bennett. Ben. Ben. Nice, okay. yep. nice to meet you. All right. Well, my pleasure. Have yeah, have a wonderful day. Stay safe. Thank you. Nope, oh, excuse me. How's it going? I got caught. <laughs> Got stuck in between two doors. Well, that conversation wouldn't have happened if Mary was here. And that's what it is, guys. I mean, you got to ask the questions. You got to have the conversations. Um, I mean, if you're walking around half cocked, ready to go off, um, you know, there's an old saying to a hammer, everything looks like a nail. Um, so don't be the hammer, man. Maybe everything's not a nail. Somebody could be doing something that you would wholeheartedly support if you understood what they were doing and you might attack them for doing it. So, uh, you know, don't be that guy. Ask the questions, have the conversation. And if the person doesn't want to talk to you and they're not interested in explaining what they're doing, just move on. It's probably none of your business at that point unless you see something, uh, something more urgent in your, uh, your opinion, then you uh, have to follow your own guide. I think if uh, people would communicate with each other and form a better understanding 
of uh, what each other are doing. Um, and again, you know, I always say it, you don't really have to understand what everybody's doing all the time. You don't have to approve of what other people are doing. Um, and they don't have to understand or approve of what you're doing. Um, but there is middle ground to be had. And I think we should all try to find that middle ground and uh, honor and respect other people's rights to do as they do, as long as you're not creating a victim out of anybody. But uh, some people are looking for a fight, looking for an argument. People are very upset. People are scared. Uh, people are confused. I get that and I understand all that. But we all have to wake up in the morning every day and decide how we're going to handle our lives and handle what's going on in this world. Um, and coming from a place of fear is probably not the best place to do that from, in my humble opinion. Uh, my father always used to say to me when I was a kid growing up that every morning when you wake up, you have two choices. It's either going to be a great day or a terrible day. But the good news is it's completely up to you. somebody maybe because it seems like they might have just uh, come to the determination not to mess with us. Uh, the tall guy that, yeah, this gentleman right here. Excuse me, sir, you work here at the post office? I do. So have you, I've just, the reason we're still hanging around, I would have been gone already, uh, but I'm just not sure if you guys called law enforcement because we're here. So if you did, I don't like to run away from them. I, that's why I'm hanging around. You have not. You have not. Okay. And you're, are you a supervisor here? I'm the station manager. Station manager. Okay. My name's Jason. Can I just get your first name? JD. JD. Pleasure to meet you. This is my son, Ben. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you guys. All right. Well, I just wanted to make sure because if law enforcement was called, I don't want to, you know, I don't want them to have to look for me. I stick around and wait for them. You guys are good. Okay. Very good. Appreciate you. Thank you so much. All right. So let's take one quick uh, walk through the lobby here, and then we'll get out of these folks' hair, uh, assuming that's the truth. Uh, but I, uh, I believe them. I got that sense that that's uh, where he was coming from when he came out and pulled Mary away from the front door. Yeah, no, he did seem like a very logical uh, individual. So if that's the case, we're not going to linger around. We're not going to give anybody a hard time. But like I say, uh, stand by because it ain't over till it's over. What are you just walking around asking stupid questions? Why don't you approach somebody like a civil human being instead of being a jerk? Good thought, huh? What? Yeah. Yeah. Well, having that here. Up against any law, it's whatever. Well, I'm, I'm not interested in what you're doing. If you're interested in what somebody's doing, you should ask them cordially and have the conversation. So, what are you guys interested in doing? Oh, well, now you want to be cordial. I'm not interested. Have a good day. Well, all right, guys. Um, oh, we have somebody, code enforcement, pulling up. Well, I don't know. I was about to say goodbye, but let's give it a second and see if code enforcement's here for us. We'll get that figured out, and then we'll uh, take it from there. Code enforcement. So maybe he was getting off on a technicality. He didn't call law enforcement. He called code enforcement. And little do they know, we were just about to leave. That's great. Let's just make sure he's not here for us and then we can uh, hit the bricks. How are we doing? Good, how are you guys? Doing good. We heard there's a couple of guys around here with cameras, so we're looking for them. I don't know if you find them. Yeah. Um, no, somebody called about some people inside not wearing masks or something. Was it an employee here they called? Oh, okay, because I was just because I was just speaking to the station manager, and he told me they didn't. Did you find anybody inside there? Did I find anybody? Asking the... uh, Say again, I'm sorry. Did you I find couldn't... anybody inside there without a mask on? Did I find anybody in there without a mask on? Uh -huh. No. Okay. I wasn't looking for anybody without a mask on. Okay. But I did have a... Oh, no, I was... But I was just having a conversation with the station manager. Okay. What was his name? Wait, aren't you, you guys were... JD? You guys were in there without masks on. How was you guys? He said, did I find anybody in there without a mask? I didn't find anybody uh, in there without a mask. I found someone without a mask, you guys. Well, then you better file a report, quick. Did you guys sit inside without a mask? Yeah, let me, here, I'll, I'll show you why. Okay. There's more important things going on in the world than you guys, you know. Words of wisdom. Are you guys with camera? No, 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 definitely not. 
So uh, here's their stance on masks right here on the door. Masks or face coverings are recommended inside the lobby. Okay. This is, is this the lobby they were talking about then? Yeah, oh, we were in the lobby. Yeah, okay. yeah, for sure. Yeah. Okay. And I'll also show you just since we're here. You want to take a look? They have the postal rules and regulations up on the wall here. We do our homework, and I always make sure we stay on the right side of the law. Okay, appreciate it. Uh, and I also had a conversation, like I said, with the station manager and with two employees here. Um, but photographs, right there, third paragraph down. These are the rules and regulations governing conduct on postal property, and this gives us the ability to take photographs okay. on the property. Well, unless you guys need me, I'm going to take off, so. Okay, but they, so they called you for us being in here? I don't here? know who called. I, he just waved me down when I pulled out, but I had a call here. About, about the mask. people inside without mask on. Not about the video. No. Okay. Nope. And you know what? That's the reason is because federal property, there is no federal mask mandate. Okay. Right. Okay. And there's also, there's also an exemption written into the uh, governor's order, which nobody ever asks about. Maybe I have an exemption. Okay. You know? <laughs> but I agree. Can I just ask your name and badge number so I know who I spoke to? Sure. Officer Sapson, 382. Thank you. For, and I just want to very much thank you for your cordial demeanor and professionalism. Okay. I appreciate that. You bet. All righty. Have a good day. Yeah, you too. We were just actually leaving when you pulled up, and then I saw you pull up, and I said, oh, I better check and make sure you're not looking for us. Okay. All right, buddy. You have a good day. Thank you. How you doing, man? Thanks. Stay safe out there. Thank you, Appreciate you. Well, I think uh, that being the case, I think we should go do one more lap around just to establish, because yeah. I don't want them to think we got thrown out. No. So let's just do one more lap through here. Now this is the point where the uh, phenomenal will happen. I just don't want the employees to think we got chased away. That would defeat the uh, educational value of the situation, pardon me. Funny, he didn't even want to come in and speak to them. He just left. Yeah, well, he realized what was about and it was, uh, Nothing he could do about it. Frivolous uh, call. Yeah, well, they are, they're all frivolous. Not, not For sure. No. Pardon. Really, that's a new one. Oh, I'll hold it up. <laughs> so there goes uh, code enforcement. All right, guys, that wears this place out completely. Um, Valmont Station, here in Boulder, Colorado. Uh, Mary's got issues. Um, the other gentleman who's the station manager seemed to have a handle on the situation. Uh, code enforcement did the right thing. And uh, that's it, so happy ending, good day here at the post office. Um, had an opportunity to have a conversation with a couple of people I probably would have never had a conversation with, certainly. Um, so that's a good thing. And uh, got to speak to a uh, sheriff. Very short conversation there, but uh, a conversation nevertheless. So I always believe if you're talking about it, you're doing something about it. So pick up your cameras, get out there, document what's going on. If you want to have a conversation with somebody, knock yourself out. Always stay polite, always stay cordial and respectful. Uh, you get way more flies with honey than you do with uh, vinegar. And uh, yeah, so I always like to remind you before we leave that if you enjoy our videos and you like what we do, please feel free to like, comment, share, subscribe. All that stuff helps our channels out tremendously. Uh, YouTube's algorithm loves that stuff. It's our, our videos out to more people so more people can enjoy them and hopefully learn from them. Uh, and I invite you to do the same for watching The Watchman. Uh, he's approaching 45,000 subscribers and his channel's doing great. And uh, he's up and coming, man. He's got some good things coming your way. So uh, I'll leave a link in the description of his channel and uh, check him out. Um, but that's it. So we're going to hop back in the truck, head down the road. The day is young and see what else we could find for you. So coming to you from Boulder, Colorado at the Valmont station of the United States Post Office. Watching the Watchmen, Amagansett Press. We'll catch you on the next one, guys. Out.